Today I will show you how to make this crazy fisheye lens effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of one and only from his Stardust music video. And here we can instantly start making the effect. So the first thing we can do is press Ctrl to Y to make a new adjustment layer. And here we can add our first effect, which is transform. Now at the start, this might be a little bit weird for you, but I will actually make the scale a bit down. I'll make it 66. I will show you why a bit later on why I did this, but it will basically even out. This effect is to even out the whole scale scaling because of the fisheye and now we can add an effect called s warp fisheye now this effect is kind of like a scam i'm not gonna lie it's like it doesn't do like the fisheye lens it just pops out the fisheye like you know like the like the warp and i don't really change anything here but if you don't have sapphire another effect you could have added here was warp i'm just gonna turn off the s warp fisheye and here you're gonna go to warp style make it the fisheye and you'll pretty much have like a very similar effect you know we could just make the band a bit higher and you'll have the same effect you know so i like the s warp fisheye but you know you can use the warp as well if you don't have the sapphire plugin and now i like to add an optional effect although i really like this effect it's s blur chroma now i know i know this also requires the sapphire plugin but if you have the sapphire plugin i definitely recommend this one and here i like to make the uh, blur chroma to 75 and the blur luminance to 2. this is probably what, like my favorite blur effect in whole after effects it's kind of like a dark and white blur which surrounds you with blur around and now let's add the effect that will actually make this into a fisheye which is called cc lens now you can already see like oh wow that's a fish eye yeah well we're going to change the settings here you can't really see anything so i'm going to make the size to 68 and the convergence is kind of like the most important part here i like to make it to 19 and boom i mean you already have like a fish eye effect this is like a really simple but already a cool fish eye effect like look look at before and after now if we were to say not have the transform at the top we would have had this so you know it's like kind of like scaled up so we had a transform to scale it down but it's important to have transform on top of every effect okay another effect that i like to add here which is definitely optional it's uni dot heat wave i like this effect because it gives like these surrounding blurs like these this heat as you can maybe see like around you know like these little blurs now another optional effect i like to add here is uni dot rgb separation i mean you really Really need to have universe for these optional effects i'm not gonna lie and i like to make the radius like very tiny to two but you can already start to see like the edges look at before and after the edges already start to pop off like in the actual like uh, fisheye lenses and another effect i like to add here is fast box blur you know this is maybe not even an optional effect i really just like to have it here i like to make it to one the blur radius and i also like that gaussian blur legacy and here i like to make it to 2.5 if you couldn't tell already i really like to make this as blurry as i can almost you know and the last effect i like to add here is hue saturation and here i like to make the master saturation to minus 20 uh because i think fish eyes look a bit better when they're desaturated you know like less colors if you want to make this a bit cooler you can add another optional effect which is s flicker i actually like to add it on top of hue saturation and here i like to make the amplitude to 0 0.36 now we have basically finished this insane fisheye lens effect i mean just look how crazy it looks like before and after is mad like i remember like this frame look how the cars look before and then after this is why like i really love this effect like look this effect works amazing for the cars like look before and after man i just i, I really love this effect but yeah guys uh that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions or any suggestions for other tutorials then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya